So I'm going to show you 125 reasons why you might have lost some Google search engine traffic recently. And I think by the time you finish watching this video you'll decide that 125 reasons is nowhere near enough. Reason number one. Google deals with spam by burying it under a wiki fucking pedia entry. Google have to change the way they present searches for people. Mostly famous people. This is an example, Ashwari Rai. And because Google is incapable of dealing with the amount of spam on the internet, thanks to the way their search engine algorithm works, they decided the best way to deal with almost any search regarding a person is just to fill it in with a wiki fucking pedia result. Ashwari Rai, first independent result, Wikipedia, over to the right, a Wikipedia link. Alexander the Great, an old personality. First result, Wikipedia, over to the right, a great big Wikipedia. They do the same with historical events, Wikipedia for the Battle of Gettysburg, but, well, a map as well. Rupert Murdoch, mm-hmm, Wikipedia. Rupert Murdoch gets five Wikipedia entries and a great big box over to the right. Mark Knowles, that's me. As you can see, there's another more famous Mark Knowles than me. One, two Wikipedia results and another Wikipedia result over to the right-hand side. Why Wikipedia? It's easy, basically. Simple answer. Generally, people looking for these kind of search terms online are fairly unsophisticated. And if you need to go to Wikipedia to find out about the Battle of Gettysburg, you're pro probably going to be quite happy with the sort of quality of information you get there, despite the fact that this is user-edited and there's often disagreements and rewrites over these kind of pages. Not so much historical events like the Battle of Gettysburg, but particularly religion and po politics. Uh, religious people and anti-religious people like to go in and edit those kind of pages and Political people like to go in and edit those pages to make their, their their guy seem either better or the other guy seem worse. So you can never really guarantee you're getting anything like accurate information on Wikipedia, but it looks good. Reason number two, Google advertising. If you do any kind of product search on Google and many other types of... Um, searches you're going to see some Google advertising this is a search for a Panasonic plasma TV not too bad uh, Sony tat station well they've recorrected it to PlayStation for me which is another reason you might have lost some traffic first thing you see is a big block of advertising Nintendo DS advertising children's toys advertising and a list of sites you might like to go to uh, to find children's toys including Amazon and Google is moving more and more towards you pay to play with these sort of things. You have to pay to be in here. London Hotels, this is a really good one. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11 entries um, which are advertisements and 1, 2, 3, 4 entries which are not paid advertisements. And as you can see, this is a search for Forex trading. The financial um, advice advertising is far more uh, ubiquitous than um, in almost any other product. You've still got your wiki fucking pedia in there, but this is basically a page full of advertising. Stock investing, much the same thing. Got a few odds and sods, some news in there, Wikipedia, uh, but mostly advertising on this page. Investing in gold, much the same. Once again, Wikipedia. One, two, three, the eleven adverts and some some news sites. Really horrible results. Reason number three plus, and I think when I finish showing you these, you'll you'll understand why I think maybe 125 was nowhere near enough. Um, Google have started to favour their own products quite drastically over almost any independent result. All right, let's see if I can justify that statement. Here we have a search for Danny Gatton, who is a dead guitarist. First result, Danny Gatton got com. Second result, Wikipedia, with a big Wikipedia box over here, as we're slowly getting used to. And five YouTube entries. YouTube is owned by Google.
and unrelated search and name cheap coupons. Second result up retailmenot.com. Retailmenot.com is owned by Google. M&S coupons, Marks and Spencer's a shop in the United Kingdom. First three results, a company called myvouchercodes.co.uk. Slightly further down, two more retailmenot.entries. Google owns myvouchercodes.co.uk and retailmenot.com. So out of the all the, the above the fold results in um, the search, you have five results that are owned by Google. Walgreens coupon. Ah, shock. Retailmenot.com is the first result. Outranking Walgreens' own website. Vacation rentals. You wouldn't think that would have any relationship to coupons. Well, it doesn't. But HomeAway.com is owned by Google. Villa Rental Europe. Big block of advertising and homeaway.com fourth result out of five on the first page remind you that google owns homeaway.com home thermostat once again completely unrelated first results company called nest.com guess what google owns nest.com and if you want to take a look at the uh, properties that google owns go to a company called googleventures.com and click on their companies page and you'll have a list of well, more than a hundred companies and I think you know judging from the amount of times that retail me not appears in the search results and others I think 125 reasons that Google is outranking you um, is, is definitely on the low side and if you want a more comprehensive list of um, companies that Google own just of course go to Wikifuckingpedia now this raises masses and masses of questions about whether or not um, you know the the ethics of this. Um, it's not the first time that Google have claimed to be providing quality when what they're actually doing is favouring their own products or their own customers. Uh, some time ago, Google ran a, a sponsored post campaign for for their Chromebooks, uh, and apparently it's okay that Google buys links to their um, pages but anybody else gets penalized for it now this information does of course raise apart from the ethical questions two other issues to look at one is why are Google particularly doing it and why are they so aggressively moving in this direction I have a good answer for that and I'll put that to you in another video the other question is how do independent people such as yourselves and myself get around this issue of um, competing with a search engine that seems to favor its own products so aggressively. I'll deal with that in another video.